night, gents. Hmm? How are you? Oh, you must be the new governor. That's right, Mike Fisher. Pleased oh. to meet you. Hello, Mike. Daryl Trotter. People may have mentioned me. Yes, <laughs> certainly. Uh, well, I'm a popular character around these parts. <laughs> Is it also true that Mouth Almighty over there has got the contract? Well, let's just say his favourite. His estimates by far. Sons are of the right in hide and seek with those sons of the right in sun. <laughs> and I am going to make sure that you and the rest of you <laughs> end up right there. Oh, I know you're the Colonel's favourites, but he's only got to take one step outside this camp. And I'll have you on that train and up the jungle so fast your feet won't touch the ground! <laughs> Mike, the landlord of the Nags Head, was played by the much loved actor Ken MacDonald, who had his own inimitable way of warming up the audience. <laughs> My family's always so nice to each other. Washed your hair, many happy return. Jane's only teasing. Just because Madam insists on washing her hair every day. It's a good job there are two ways to get your hair bosine clean. Original and frequent wash herbal. With the fresh smell of alpine herbs. Mum's chatting up the milkman again. We've all got someone we like to have nice, clean hair for, haven't we? Fozine, because we're dedicated to medicated. Rosalind Burton, bye. I don't talk shop after hours, okay? Maybe going for this pint of what? Ooh, a long cold pint after our day's graft. You can't whack it, can you, lads? Don't you think traditions like that are important? Ah, come on, lad. How about you, son? Sorry, I didn't catch your name. What do you think? My name's Mike. 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 Well, do you believe in tradition, in heritage? Is that how? How do you mean? Well, things like where you're from, shaping who you are. In your nationality being a big part of your character. So what do you reckon to this event here today? Do you reckon we're back in a loser, boys, to your what? Oh, no, not for him. He's been up to his usual tricks already. Oh, what, you bought some of Perry's crappy old t-shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, a word in your ear. One of the main differences between you and me is that I can always spot a good business opportunity and I have the ability to act upon it. Oh. So you have bought one of Perry's old crappy t-shirts. <laughs> British engineering at its finest. It symbolises everything that's great about this country. Oh, leave it out, boys. You've been having a go at Del Boy over that van for donkey shoes. Come on, come on, tell me. Tell me what is the real reason? I just sold it to some mug outside for 900 quid. <laughs> <laughs> come on, the drinks are on you. Oh, yeah. I'll try the other bar. Sorry, mate. Hey. Mike, it is you, isn't it? I don't believe it. Eddie <laughs> Chambers. Yeah. Here I... So, you still in the train? Yeah, yeah, got a lovely little place down in Peckham. Oh. Uh, there's two of my satisfied regulars over there. <laughs> Eddie Chambers, Del Trotter. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you, Del. And you, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie and I used to be rivals over in the East End. We had pubs almost opposite each other. Yeah, yeah except mine was better than yours. You must be joking. Del, you know how I'll run a pub, don't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it must have been better than yours, Mike. <laughs> Thank you very much. Makes sense, yeah. Maybe I'll see you later, mate. I'll see you later, Eddie, yeah. yeah good luck. Cheers, Eddie. Yeah. See you, Mike. <laughs> We've got to be out of Margate by seven. Oh, look. Thank you very much. Use your brains, will you, Michael? <laughs> we might be able to flog them to the holiday makers, eh? Make ourselves a few bob, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't you ever stop.